Hello fellow RVers, this is Gary once again with Rough Road RV Life. And we like looking at freedom. So where has freedom brought us? Well, we're still in Arizona in the 106 degree heat, but we're surviving. And we are at a state park called Buckskin Mountain. Now, it's not really located on a mountain, but it is located on the Colorado River, just up from the Parker Dam. The water is great here. And we're gonna go show you this campground and let you see what this is all about. Buckskin Mountain State Park, Parker, Arizona. That way. So this is the entrance road to Buckskin Mountain. You can get a view of the uh, Colorado River and there's all kind of resorts and RV parks all around this, I guess, bend you might say in the river here. This whole stretch. <laughs> Very scenic water here. It's clear. It's nice. It's refreshing. Yes, it is. It's not 84 degrees. But it's also not 40 degree water. It's probably in the upper 70s, mid 70s. Yeah. Okay, so this is where you come into the park at. And I want to show you real quick left, but there, right there is a really nice walk. It's a cactus garden. Nice and shady walk. Okay, carry on. It's a nice little trail there. So this is where you check in at and get your hang tags and all that. And right here is the only trailhead in the park. Buckskin Mountain Trailhead. And, and if you want to walk up and down that mountain, yeah, it is up. Let me tell you, uh, I, I've played on those trails a little bit. I'll tell you about them. So this is a day use area right here. Uh, it was really busy over the holiday weekend, Labor Day. Um, it's a swim beach out there. There is, back that way, that building has snacks, but it looked like it was only open on the weekend. Right? Right. And, and literally, they do have a, a section out there that's buoyed off for swim beach, but pretty much that whole shoreline is a swim beach. And it's nice. So nice. Labor Day weekend, the whole shoreline was, was just one uh, easy up after the other. Yes, and it was completely lined. Yes. This first row, I don't know the numbers, but we'll try to keep with the, um, the going the right directions. But there we are at 22. We have a sewer site, and they are not all sewer sites. Go down here first or the end? Let's go down here and come around. This is 24 through 38. Buckskin Boulevard. So, more sunny on the right here. There's 25, but you can see these sites are, some of them are tucked up in the shade pretty nice. And there are some sewer sites over there. 33 is where that coachman is. Um, some of these are pull-throughs. Yes, in the center. They, they are pull-throughs. And these are back ends over here. It's 28, it's right there. They have a good map. So you, you know, we'll give you the idea that just the things, there's 29 right there. There's a tree here and there. 37's where that nitro is. And then when you get here, we'll just keep going straight. There are some sites back up in here. That's Bath House. And there's a dog park, a nice size grassy dog park over there. This is Ranger Way sites 1 through 11. And only a couple of these were sewer over here. Most of these are just electric and water, but there's site 1, 2, 3. There's also sites on the left, back in. And these sites are very close to the swimming area that's over on this side, too. The, literally the whole shoreline. And on this side, and this last one here is site 6. On this side, we'll swing around here and we'll show you the water, but you can bring your dogs in and let them go swimming. So there's a, a peek at the water down there. So this is a North Beach and dogs are allowed over here. And there's a motorhome gonna launch a speedboat. Yep. It always amazes me. I cannot imagine driving our coach into the water. <laughs> All right, these are, um, this is nine, eight, and I think seven here is a sewer site. 
but just put the filter in for sewer sites. I'm, I, it took me four years, but um, <laughs> filter for sewer sites, you just might get one of the ones that are available. And then we come back out here. That's a bathhouse there. Yeah, another look at that bathhouse, but that is a dog park. So nice. There's the boat ramp. And a little picnic area. There's horseshoes up there, cornhole. And you can get the um, toys for those up at the ranger station. And there's uh, picnic tables down um, in, um, on the deck. There's like a deck there. And a volleyball net. And a volleyball net. They do have a dump station right there. on this part coming back around to catch the hillside drive 12 through 23 and this is our, our side we're hillside so some of these were tucked up in here like 12 right there and some of them are kind of out in the Sun that's 18 that's 19 right there Plenty of space between you and your neighbor. We just passed 15 on the left, and that is 16, 17, and there we are at site 22. We do have a sewer site, and there's site 23. That takes Oops. care of sites 1 through 23. All along here, straight over to in front of us, there's a bathhouse, a couple of bathhouses, but those are tent sites. So tent sites are riverfront. So straight ahead there along the river is are the riverfront sites as we swing around. A very fast clip. We have to do a little bit faster because the phone is overheating in this 110 degree weather. Yeah, it does. They don't like this heat. No, so I have to keep turning it off. And so we just passed 42 on the left. Just here's, and those we showed you on the right. Yep. I think we showed you coming up. So it was 43, just 43, 44, and 45. Yeah, on, all on the left. 46. There's the dog park again. And then I think there's one more row to catch over here, or maybe two. We'll see. It's a boat ramp again, right over there. Boat trailer parking. It's a lot of uh, one-way roads here. Green space, and you can go down to the beach. There's an easy up right there. You know, their folks put their easy ups up, claim their spot. And you can see across the river, there's more res resort camping. And all over around through there. Right, we're not sure how easy it is to get there. And that is California over there too, by the way. Okay, here's Riverview, 58 through 65. And so we just passed 59 on the left. There's some people out to our left, so we're not gonna take pictures of that, but there's 60. 61's 61. under a nice tree. Yeah. And like my uh, like Sharon said, across is uh, tent pad tent sites where those tables right. are. Not not a lot of uh, shade over there, but I saw someone with this last one. And so, what site number is that? Site seventy two. All the way to the end. You have to go to the end. So sixty nine. So that last site there, sixty nine. They had a nice little setup under the shade tree. And then there's a screen space. There's a little bench out there, and there's California, y'all. This this state park is kind of like a little peninsula that sticks out and waters on like three sides of it. The river kind of wraps around it. There's folks out. We do not take pictures of people out doing their thing. Are we done? I think we're done. So as we 
circle back around to Rough Road. I'll just give you a little uh, overview. traffic bothers you this is not the place for you <laughs> although it's very quiet during the week right hun yes it until the afternoon it's like in the afternoon everybody gets off work and goes to the river so they have a life jacket loaner station here as well the only thing um, that's not good is your dog's paws will get burnt up at this time of day. So for our middle dog walk, we go shade jumping or throw them in the car and go to the dog park because we can't, it's just too hot. The triple digits every day. But the afternoon walk isn't bad and the morning walk isn't bad. That was our little tour of uh, Buckskin Mountain State Park on the Colorado River up from the Parker Dam, close to the city of Parker. And uh, we enjoyed our seven day stay here. As far as our site goes, it was paved site, it's a level site. Our site had full hookup, 50 amp water and electric. I believe the website says there's 15 sewer sites here. Some sites here are just 30 and some are 50, so you'll have to check with the website and go from there as to which ones they are. Now on the website it says the riverfront sites. It says riverfront sites, but that whole row of what they call riverfront sites is all tent. There is no actual RV riverfront site, but right. the river wraps around this whole little peninsula here and it's only a two minute walk from anywhere in the park to the river for swimming. They do have a boat ramp. And this is a, it's a lot of boaters here going up and down the Colorado River, uh, skiing, jet boaters, skiing. Boaters, jet skiers. All of that <laughs> right there. So A lot of noise, a lot of waves, especially on the weekend. Yes. Um, our Verizon service here was pretty good, wouldn't you say? Wasn't Give or bad. take. Yeah. Oh, I, they, I was able to upload videos, no problem though. But they do have a park Wi-Fi that works pretty well in my opinion. I, I got on it, had no problem doing what I did. Yeah, they have a, I checked their their uh, website today and it said that it's being intermittent, but I haven't had any problems right. with it. It's worked pretty well, better than our Verizon MiFi. Now there, there are some stores close by here. I do think there's a Walmart within 15 minutes from here. And there's also a little country store up the road. We didn't go anywhere. We didn't go there anywhere. <laughs> we never moved the car all week, but it's been great. We, we know they're there. Um, so it's like we're taking a vacation from our vacation. <laughs> as far as the park itself, they got a nice day use area over here, and uh, people do utilize it. This park is open 24 hours a day. They don't have a closed time. There's a very nice large dog park over here. Grass and shade. Grass and shade, and. Um, there's a bathroom right next to it. So the dog park is really nice, but there's lots of other areas around here to walk dogs. There's are grassy areas. And even though they're not allowed in the beach area over here, this is the, the beach area over here, they are allowed on the north side, on the other side of the boat ramp. So you can take your dog down there and let your dog play in the water. Which is literally right over there. Yeah. It's, yeah. Right. So the beach area is right over here behind us. It's got barrels around the you know squaring off a beach area but actually small so small anywhere along this whole thing just about is, is beach you can just you don't have to go in that particular area you can go anywhere you want and people do like we alluded to earlier there's over Labor Day weekend this whole peninsula here was just pretty much wrapped around with easy ups and people out there swimming and having a good time yeah so, we didn't even bother trying to get in the water because it was it's a holiday weekend yes. it's very busy now once the holiday went by we pretty much had the place to ourselves. Mm -hmm. so um it's been very nice very nice stay here they do have a nice facility over here that's got some really nice upgraded like 
cornhole and horseshoes and built in. volleyball. It's, it's yeah. all built in. It's not just a, a, a shoveled away grass area and you know, throw it to there. It's, it's, yeah. it's really pretty nice over there. And they, they have the, um, all the, uh, like the cornhole bags and all that available at this store, the uh, office. So if you want to do that, it's a nice place over there to do and that And there's with. picnic tables that are like on a little deck overlooking the water so that's kind of nice yes so overall uh we did enjoy our stay here at buckskin park now just right at the river on the other side there's another state park we did not go to it but it is called river it is called island. um i got it right here river island state park there's castle rock shores and there's some other uh, probably independent camp camping areas around here some of them are really nice oh, there's all kinds of resorts yeah in this, <laughs> in this, this area river. there's uh it's both sides of the river are there's places to stay if you don't particularly want to come here or this place is booked there's other options in this area mm -hmm. the, the the river water was nice and refreshing it wasn't bone chilling cold it was probably it wasn't hot Upper it, 70s, maybe 75, 76 degree yeah, water. Well, I don't know what it was, yeah, but it was. It, it felt was good. Perfect, perfect. And you're only really 30 minutes away from Lake Havasu. Yeah. And if you're a boater, you know there's a lot of places here to boat. So um, it's a pretty good park here, actually. We really enjoyed it. Right. I had to talk about hiking. I'm saving that for last because you know <laughs> I wanted to devote the first five minutes of the wrap up to this important stuff and then the next 15 minutes will be on hiking no, so, it, so I'm gonna, say... let's go to the hiking segment now you guys can go get your coffee do what you got to do <laughs> then come back and here it is but first I have a tip when you're booking go ahead and filter for what you want because <laughs> that's how I've been finding these sewer sites I'll just automatically because it doesn't it's not clear Now it does say on this site but not every site does it say sewer sites we have discovered that we've kind of lucked up on sewer sites. So it's like the description hasn't caught up with the what's actually happening. So 50 amp is another thing. So I go ahead, 50 amp and sewer. And pets, always pets. So then if I don't have anything, I'll drop the sewer and then it'll be 50 amp and pets. And of course, if I have a chance for waterfront, I'll filter for waterfront. Not all of them have a chance for waterfront. And then I will drop the 50 amp because sometimes 30 amps all you're gonna get so just a little tip start with what you want and then it does take a little bit more time but you end up getting a sewer site okay that's, that's my, your that's, my, that's your tip my booking, of the day booking tip of the day Sharon's booking tip of the day <laughs> now now the Sharon's trail review <laughs> now you see these mountains what they look like around here they are up or they are down and that's what the trails are like which I love that sort of thing. And the trails are very well maintained. They're wide. There are a lot of steps. So it's like a Stairmaster when you go hiking, but so beautiful, great views. There's cigar cactus all along the trail and other kinds of cactus. And More than one cactus. Yeah, a variety, variety. In fact, there's a cactus garden here. We didn't mention, but they have a cactus garden and a desert tortoise there that we got to see one time, usually he's down in his hole. Um, with triple digits here, I was getting up before daylight and heading out to hike. And so I was able to get about 12 miles done of the hiking trails that are around here. I did the Buckskin Mountain Trail. I did the Buckskin Loop. Of course, a lightning bolt trail leaves from here on, you know, heading on across. There's a, a nice overpass over 95. I did a little bit of the 4x4 trail. On the Buckskin Mountain Trail, you can see three abandoned mines. So that's really cool. There's also the River View Overlook Trail, which will take you up and you can overlook the river. And that one's not too long, maybe two miles, two and a half, three miles round trip. And I did the Market Trail coming back to complete a loop. So it's, it's a, like a lot up and down in the very beginning, and then it's just more of a gradual rolling. So it's not incredibly horrible, but you will have a workout. And I did take the dogs up on the lightning bolt trail that leads out of here, up by the ranger station. And it's like up, <laughs> steep, down, steep, drop-offs on the side. 
So with two pulley dogs, I, I finally turned around and came back. So if you have a dog that minds really well and doesn't think they smell a bunny, um, you'll probably be okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't attempt that with the dog. Now you can go up there and go to the left and there's a bench that overlooks the campground. So it's very short, it's like half a mile. Gary wouldn't do it. Cause it's up. <laughs> but beautiful, beautiful feet up. hiking here, but do start early because I did a long hike one day and I was coming back about 10, 30 or 11. And going up is nothing before daylight or in the morning when it's below 100. But once it starts getting around that 100 range, it's it really takes it out of you and take lots and lots of water. Yeah, we were here in the middle of the heat wave. Yeah, the record heat waves. Yeah, that, that was that was our visit here. We have um, two air conditioners, three fans, and blackout curtains, and we managed to survive. It wasn't bad inside, really. Yeah. It wasn't. The hardest thing about the whole thing was in the middle of the day walk, the dog walk. The ground was too hot for our pups, so we had to uh, either drive to the dog park or and because they're conditioned to go out three times a day so they start looking at us we can't they don't understand it's too hot wait because I'm sure they could but um but we came out and we we would do like shade hop because there are trees so we could do that or get over to the grassy area and it was fine so okay um, just be be aware <clears throat> so one other thing about this park and to me it's not it's they they do keep sprinklers going here on their trees and on their lawn and they do use recycled water I don't know if reclaimed they, water whatever right. you call it I don't know if this part but there is a cage part right across the street from us that is it does say don't drink reclaimed water and sometimes you get a little odor from that in our site we've noticed that I don't know it's like for the first few days I kept thinking it was like the sewer wafting up or were we leaking I even came out here a couple times and looked till I when I'd be out walking the dogs I noticed we're like right across from the sewage treatment area though <laughs> so whatever that is yeah so there is a little sewer smell here what are we 22 Something, this, yeah 22 22 I think. here at site 22 we are 22 right but it's not it's that's okay no, he can't smell I can it, it's pretty strong sometimes so just be forewarned not a deal breaker I wouldn't trade this site because we're kind of out of the way here the other sewer sites are kind of in the middle and it's just a busier area and we like our area and we could also see you know the water through the trees I mean you really it depends on where you're at yeah. it's nice water too it's clear water it's not yeah, muddy water it is I do want to mention there's two sites that we didn't get to drive down because there were people out but I noticed last night walking around, this was, this is a really cool site. Site 66, I don't know what the amenities are there, but where they are, they have a beautiful water view because the water is, the river is really wide right there and they don't have anybody on in front of them. They do have a little store here that I believe is open on the weekends that you can get like ice cream at and some other stuff. Right, ice, yeah, they... ice is there and maybe firewood. Yeah, and I don't know if you go over to the ranger station and ask, will they go over and open it? Because I did see her do that one day, but they have closed on the door. It's separate from the ranger station. Right. It has been a very nice stay here. We have been staying at places where we are just going, 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 visiting, 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 traveling, traveling, traveling. And it has been incredibly refreshing to just chill. For seven days. <clears throat> but today is um september 9th yes september 9th and i don't know it's probably around 10 o'clock 10 30 something like that oh it better not be 10 30. we have to be out of here by 12. 12 o'clock checkout yeah so we're leaving today we're heading to california we're tipping our t actually california's on the other side of the river i think we said that in our tour anyway yeah half the river is california half the river is arizona like that mountain you see is california yeah, right the, there right back there so we're going to dip our toe into California today just so that we can uh, put our sticker on the map for California. <laughs> and also when we're in California, um, it's really stone's throw from Yuma. That's where we're going. 
and I think we're going to go over there and try going into Mexico to that dental city, Las Algodones. Whatever, Los, Los Algodones. Yeah, whatever she just said there. Because we hear a lot of people, RV people, say that's a really good place to go. So we're going to try that out. And in a future review, we'll let you see what that was like for us. Because that's actually going to be next week. But be a few weeks before we cycle up for that one. Right. So we'll let, that's another one coming up that you can uh, stay tuned for. And of course, you can click like and subscribe. Follow us on our journey. Leave a comment. Gary and Sharon. Say hello. Yep. Till next time, take care, safe travels.